Shalom Israel, first and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Oh shit. Salak. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity to you, Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To you sisters out there that are, are holding down, holding it down for the truth. Much love to y'all, to you, to those that passed on or passed away serving the Lord. The dead in Yahweh shot shall arise first. I'm going to throw the hat back on because I'm not praying or prophesying. But, you know, the last part of my usual, you know, greeting about the dead in Yahweh shy is a part, of, a main part of this video because, you know, I've kind of having a hard time here because I'm having uh, too many deaths at once. Um, I know that I did an RIP video that I took down eventually uh, about a week ago because the sister turned out to not be dead. I don't know why it was all over Facebook that she, you know, RIP to her and all that. She did a live. I don't know. Like, you got people saying that she was, that she faked her death. Was, I don't know. I don't, I'm not... I'm not here to accuse. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? All I'm going to say is we've had, I've had three real deaths um, around this time. She would have been the second one, you know, all praises that she wasn't, you know, she has a chance to get right if she's not right, you know, but, uh, there was one before her, a brother that passed away in California. He ain't passed away. He got killed. He got murdered by Edomite. We, we recently, you know, uh, donated to the GoFundMe for him. Then there was uh, this Tuesday morning, this week, Tuesday, today's Friday, this Tuesday morning, three days ago. Uh, I found out about this on Wednesday, almost the afternoon, but I found out that a sister that is in the truth part of she she's a uh, one of the sisters of ambassadors of Christ AOC passed away and then now I'm hearing not hearing now uh you know a brother now I'm finding out about a brother by the name of Yashemaya who I don't know how long he's been in the truth. I know his wife was in the truth before me because she was part of the congregation that I was in and his wife passed away a couple years ago too. And you know what? What? Uh, I, I haven't heard any information about um, donation for his funeral yet. I think he just passed away yesterday. The brother from Cali, like I said, we, we donated to that. The sister, she's from Brooklyn. She lived in Elizabeth. Um, and she had even come by the camp one time. Uh, you know, she she respected my camp. She was she was down with AOC, but she was she was uh she respects she definitely had love for for the men of valor. Um You know, like I said, she said she, she came by one time, which I didn't recognize her. You know, but based on the person she said she brought by the camp, supposedly to listen, but he really wound up tricking her and coming to argue himself. Um, but based on who she brought, I, I know who she's referring to. Um, but she passed away recently. On Tuesday. And, and, and you know, I sent something in for her. You know, I'm not going to specify numbers and none of that shit. You know, I believe when you do your do your uh, charity, you, you remain anonymous. You know what I'm saying? As much as you can, you know. But uh, it, it got me to thinking. And also recently, you know, just chopping it up with brothers. Um, when we was in Atlantic City last Saturday... 
And overall, like I, I'm, I'm realizing that a lot of black and Hispanic people were not prepared for this world. A lot of a lot of the curses come to find out. A lot of the curses that we're dealing with in this truth. Because of our ignorance and because we don't know how things work and we're also cheap you know uh, perfect example you know with all due respect to the people it's not it's not it's I'm not throwing it on them saying it's their fault but when when somebody passes away among black and brown people. And I've seen this many times. We do a GoFundMe. GoFundMe is not. Um, an ideal option for when somebody passes away. You know. Uh, when you do a GoFundMe. That literally means that we have to wait until. You collect. The amount that you're requesting more or less to get buried because if you have no money the family has no money and a lot of people a lot of Israelites we we ain't we don't um we don't we don't mind these things we don't think about these things we don't think about money like the, the it, it's weird the the Israelites I'm noticing or I've noticed that the Israelites that are that are so hyper concerned with money, those Israelites, a lot of them are the ones that are thieves and crooks. And then you got brothers like uh, you know, brothers and sisters like us that we're, we we don't we we try not to worry about money. You know, we work, we do what we do. You know, we, we survive every day, you know, and a lot of us don't think about these things, you know, but there's a balance to it. And the balance is, you know, you don't rob congregations, you don't take from, you know, you don't get money from any means that are ill-gotten gain, you know, but what we should do is you know we should start using these worldly means that are at our disposal you know we we owe it to ourselves we owe it to our loved ones we owe it to our camps because you know getting something like life insurance and i remember i remember ibaria you know all you young brothers a lot of y'all don't really know who ibaria is i know ibaria because i used to work at a grocery store the same grocery store that i met shire Allah in you know, when you work in a in a major like a stop and shop or something like that, you get to meet whoever's local. Cause at some point everybody's gonna stop by a supermarket. You know what I mean? And I bar you used to be very frequent, you know, in the supermarket that I went to uh I bar you, um who else? Shayala wasn't frequent, but he came around a few times. Also, Ariala. Ariala, the famous Ariala. He, uh, he, even he had a family in Elizabeth. You know, um, and, uh, which RIP to him too. It's funny that I'm talking about death so much. But when we was at Ibaria's funeral, I mean, uh, oh, Salak. Lord forbid, but when we was at Bon Loya's funeral, Ibarria was one of the first brothers to talk. And at the time when he when he spoke, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna say I was offended by what he said, but I was a little kind of thrown off that he would talk about life insurance. The first one of the first brothers to talk, and I thought I figured, okay, he was gonna go back to some of the good old days going back to one West or House of David with Bon Loya. No, he actually spoke about 
Life insurance. It's a lot. Yeah, so he talked about life insurance. He talked about how, you know, on top of mourning you, now we also have to have to, you know, go into our finances and scrounge up money to bury somebody. And, and, you know, to bury somebody is so fucking expensive. It's insane. You know, I, I, I can't imagine, you know, what, what, you know, what it would be like. I could imagine, obviously, because I have, you know, we buried Bon Lawyer. You know, we're, we're, we also are, you know, contributed to burying the brother. We, we're burying, you know, I'm burying, I'm helping out, you know, Lord willing, bury the sister. You know, if, if, if the brother Yashimaya, if there's anything needed to help bury him, you know, but it's like, you know, I like I said, Yashimaya, I have yet to hear anything about a, a GoFundMe for him. Um, perhaps he was the one that actually had a had a, a life insurance policy, but you know, life insurance is important, man. You know, get some cheap shit. You brothers that got it together, man, make sure you you got something set up for your brothers, for your camp, for your wife, for your children. So when you you know, if you pass away in this kingdom, you know they're not all asked out. You know. I've heard that they got life insurance cheap as 20 bucks a month. It's cheap, but fuck it. Even even if even if you leave and your life insurance covers $10,000 for your for your burial. You know, at least at least you're giving us okay, now we just got to scrounge up a, a little bit more so we could send you off right, you know what I mean? Um but don't don't put your people in, in a position if you don't have to if, you, if you're doing good you got your shit together you got a life insurance policy you know what I'm saying go for it you know get one so that if if the the likely I'm not going to say inevitable because you know two thirds of us one third of us is going to make it out of here and 144,000 of us are going to be the ruling class but the rest of us that are going to die here, some of us are going to die and we're going to be resurrected when your house shot come back. Yo, chill out, man. People have no no type of decorum when it comes down to driving. Like, chill out. Give somebody a chance. Fucking light just turned green. But anyway. um, Yeah, we have to have a lot of... We, we have to be... Israelites, we have to learn to be resourceful. You know, one thing I noticed that, that not only Israelites, but people in the world, black and brown people, we don't know. We're, we're ignorant. We're totally ignorant of the tools that we have in this kingdom, like uh, like life insurance. A motherfucker that lives such an unhealthy life as me with liquor should have anybody that, that drinks a lot of liquor like myself should definitely have life insurance you know I definitely I, I have calmed down on the liquor a lot but it's still something like you don't know I'm 41 years old I'm not you know obviously as an Israelite I'm a non-smoker is this motherfucker trying to race me you're not gonna win but anyway just had to dust this motherfucker off a, minute, a second, but anyway. Um, but yeah, back to the topic at hand. You know, life and death is unpredictable. You know, and and we got to think about the things that white people do to cheat, because these aren't really cheats. The cheat part is that they don't tell us that shit. We have to figure it out for ourselves. So I'm telling y'all. You know, get life insurance. You don't have to get a big, heavy fucking plan, but you 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 don't want 
You don't want all your brothers around you, all your brothers and sisters, your your worldly friends. You know, you don't want them to scrounge up last minute to, to bury you. You know what I'm saying? You know, because me personally, as far as I'm concerned, nigga, throw me in Potter's Field. I don't even give a fuck about no goddamn funeral. Nigga, I'm a bag of bones when I die. You know what I'm saying? That body doesn't have my spirit in it no more. Why spend money on it? You know, but... Knowing my friends and family, they're they're not gonna hear that shit. So what they're gonna do if I don't if I don't start working on a life insurance policy is you know they'll probably do another fucking GoFundMe. You know, but looking at how looking at how the, the sister and the brother that recently passed are doing on GoFundMe, I don't have any confidence that, that we're gonna be able to really um, it's it's gonna take a while. The brother, the brother's ten thousand dollars short. The sisters GoFundMe just went up, I think, yesterday. And you know, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like after after me, Daniela and Yahweh Zaim, who are three Israelites that are very active on social media. After we posted, and Daniela, her her son in law. After we all posted her, her uh, GoFundMe information, it doesn't look like she's gonna get where she needs to be anyway, either, anytime soon. So what I urge you brothers out there to do is to do that. Also on top of that, I want you brothers out there. Now this is specifically for you brothers that got it together, you know. And this is also motivation for you brothers that don't got it together to get it together. You know, download an app called Robinhood. You know, buy buy and sell fractional stocks. You don't have to buy a whole share. A whole share of Apple is probably a few hundred, maybe a thousand bucks right now. You don't have to buy all that. Just buy a piece of it. As Apple grows, so, so does your stock. You know, if you learn, if you learn the stocks a little bit, if you learn to day trade, you can really make a killing, but I'm not even telling you to do that to make a killing. Get, get you, you know, get you some stocks that's on the rise. Like I'm going to give y'all an example, right? I have about two shares in DraftKings, maybe more, I don't know, but I have some shares in DraftKings. I'm holding on to DraftKings until after the Super Bowl. Because I'm assuming, and I think it's a very safe assumption, that between now and the Super Bowl, a lot of people are going to go on DraftKings, and they're going to, and they're going to make a lot of bets. And one thing, if you study how DraftKings works, they hardly take losses. Even if you win a ton of money, those motherfuckers have ways to get paid, bro. They have ways to get paid. They don't take losses. Um, so that's a solid business that I that I invested in. Uh, just today, just today I bought. You know, I I, I put a because my my max is fifty bucks a week. I put fifty bucks a week on stocks. You know, uh, and, and it and it worked. For, it has already worked for me because what happened was. You know, recently, I just dumped a lot of stock. Like, I sold it all. I wound up with a good a good chunk of money that I needed because I was low as fuck. And, and, and that's, that's a way for you to never really go broke. You have your money in stocks. If you want to sell that shit, you know, I, I own Apple when they, when, they did, when they split into four. So every one share I had split into four shares. If I had a quarter share, that quarter share split into one whole share. So that's the way it worked. Like every, you know, uh, also the same thing with Tesla. I had, I had stock in Tesla. They split into into four stocks. You know, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The particulars, I don't know how it works, but, you know, I made off lovely. And, and anybody that had stock in Tesla and Apple at the time made off lovely with that shit. I had stock on Sony. I had Sony stock. Until I decided to sell that shit after Christmas because I figured, hey, it's going to go up during Christmas. 
people are going to be giving away uh, PlayStation 5s. So Sony stock goes up. Anything like that, if you know a certain car is going to come out, you know, if you know something's coming out, you know, that's that's an opportunity to buy stock in the company that's going to drop that product. You know, if you know a new iPad, a new iPhone is coming out, um, that's your opportunity. Buy stock in Apple. If you know a new a Galaxy phone's coming out, buy stock in Galaxy. Believe it or not, while you're while you're buying your fucking, you're probably gonna buy the same phone. You're paying yourself indirectly. You know that's why that's why I decided to get Ralph Lauren stock. I buy Ralph Lauren. You know so. These are things that we that that we don't consider, we don't think about. To me, a stock is better than a savings account. To me, if you put money in stock, it's better than a savings account. I don't I don't get charged the maintenance fee in stocks. I get charged the maintenance fee on the savings account. How the fuck do you get charged? You get pennies on the thousand dollars. You put thousands of dollars in your savings account, and they and they only give you an interest pennies, but they charge you an eight dollar maintenance fee per month. It's fucking insane. You can't save with these banks. But then, you know. But like I said, but and, and then you also got other options you have something called an uh, uh a cd which i was going to consider getting with a bank you know but i i want to i want to get into the specifics how long before i can touch the money because shit the way you know we want to get the fuck out of here we want to get out of babylon but we got to realize that we still have to live here while we're waiting for our kingdom and that's what a lot of brothers in this truth and oddly enough, people in the world that think they're going to be here forever, they don't factor that in. They don't think about it. They don't factor in what's what's happening. They don't pay no attention to what the hell's going on in the world. And it's very important, man. It's very, very important for us brothers in the truth or even you women in the truth. You know, or women that are serving the, the, you know, the Lord. You, we have to, we have to get up on these things, man. Understand stocks, understand, you know, finances and the way things work. Nothing wrong with that. You know, while we're here. Because you got another thing, an argument that I wanted to make is, listen, the same way the white man tells you not, you know, that they try to, they try to tell you how certain things are unpredictable and this and that they do it themselves. Why do, why do stocks and bonds and all that shit work for white people is because they study it. They know it. Real estate. That's another thing black and brown people had to get into. Stop being a fucking real estate agent. All these, one thing I noticed is that we're good for being real estate agents and selling houses. But we don't get into the, you know what I'm saying, like like the deep shit. Like we're selling somebody else's fucking house. Why can't you be the owner, the person that's buying houses? I know a brother, a Jake. He's not in the truth, but he's a, he's a, you know friend of mine. He got like a little crew. He flips houses. He'll buy a house. You get a loan. You get a loan, a bank loan for a house. You know, fucked up house. You can buy a fucked up ass house. I've seen fucked up ass houses in Newark, right? Fucked up ass houses go for 20, 20 something thousand. And if you know the region that, that, that we live in, uh, a house for 20 something thousand or 72,000 is very fucking cheap. Buys them shits fucked up, guts them shits all the way down to the, to the studs. And then what he does is, you know, then, then he, builds everything on top of it, renovates it, you get a brand new fucking house. You get a brand new fucking house. He sells them shits for, you know, a lot more than he bought them for. 
you know, and his crew, they know how to get all this shit done, you know, uh, electronic, whatever, the electricians, you know, they know, they know electricians, they know people that build shit, you know, they know people that can get things done on houses, you know, it's time that we, 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 we learn these skills to build, to create things, to improvise. Now you ask, well, hey, why the fuck learn? We're about to get out of here. Well, you got to remember the same way we have to learn how to how to keep the laws of the most high. The same way we have to learn how to be patient. You know, these are things that are not going to just magically come to us in the kingdom. You know, we have to learn skills. Skills to survive, skills to build. Who's going to be the ones directing the fucking heathen how to build up our walls? It's going to be us. And do you think the Most High is just going to randomly pick one nigga that just was, you know, all his life not really learning any trades or anything? No, nine times out of ten, Most High is going to pick somebody that knows how to, you know, build things. You know, the knowledge of how to build things is going to have to come back to us in, in the nation. You think it's going to come back magically? No, we have to learn how to build things. We have to have an idea, at least. We don't even have an idea, a lot of us. You know, these skills, you know, we, we can use, man. You know, but we start off small. We start off here in America. You know, we start off with stocks, real estate, having a fucking life insurance plan. These are things that, that a lot of black and brown people, we don't know about, you know, and it's fucking us up because every time one of us pass away, we don't have shit. We got to scrounge up every last quarter because I'll tell you right now, I can't, I probably, I don't think I can afford another death. If, if, if there, if there turns out to be a, a GoFundMe for Yoshim, y y Yashimaya. I don't know how I'm going to cover that. You know what I'm saying? But the, the, the fact of the matter is, you know, we, we as a people, we have to do better. We have to learn better. We have to, to use the system and use the things that are here at our disposal. We have to use the, the things that are here in the system that work for the white man. The so-called white man, they, they use these shits all the time. Don't let them tell you that shit don't work when it works for them. You know, but I'm just telling y'all this, man. Learn, learn trades, matter of fact. Another thing, learn a trade. If you learn how to work with your hands and learn a trade, you know, you, you'll always have work until until this kingdom completely is done until this kingdom is completely done you will always have work <clears throat> you know don't listen to don't listen to these these are these 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 bums, and when I say these bums, is these brothers out here that that just encourage bum behavior. You know, you got men out here that really, you know, are about putting in that work and, and doing what they got to do to provide for their family. Because when you work, you're not just working for yourself. You're working, you know, especially the older you get, you get responsibilities. You got to take care of parents. You have to take care of children. You know, how are you going to take care of your parents and your children, grandparents and all of that? If you're sitting here not knowing the first thing about how to, how to obtain finances and how to, how to do things, you know, it's, it's an ugly subject because the thing is, the problem is in this truth, you have a lot of motherfucking money grubbing ass Israelites, you know? 
I'm not telling you this shit for me, though. I'm telling you this shit for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all this for y'all own good. Because at the end of the day, the bottom line is this country runs on money. And if you don't have none, how are you going to bury yourself? How are you going to? How are people going to bury you? How are you going to bury loved ones? You know, you got to take care of business. One thing I notice, and I've been the treasurer of two camps and, and also a, a college organization. Actually, three camps. I've been the treasurer for And I tell you, you could easily tell who doesn't have the mind to take care of finances. You know, I could tell. It's usually the same brothers that need help all the time. Usually the brothers that need help don't have that hustler in righteousness mentality. You know, you start talking about stocks and bonds and shit, you know, they're like, what? And that was me before. I had to learn how to be like that, man. You know, but, you know, I mean, listen, the first thing that I want to tell y'all, well, I should have been said this. I'm not, I didn't make this video to substitute the Lord. Like you still, the Lord is number one. What you have to do, you got to go to camp, you got to do these videos, you got to teach, you got to wake up your people. That's number one. But don't be ignorant of these. The scriptures tell you don't be ignorant of the smallest things. Anything big or small, don't be ignorant of it. Know about stocks. Know about, you know what I'm saying, uh, life insurance. Know about these tools that can help us in this kingdom while we're here. Then when it gets burnt up, it gets burnt up. But guess what? You know, you still have that knowledge. You know, particularly things like building things, that's going to come in handy in the kingdom when you're going to be directing these fucking Hamites and, and these fucking Elamites to build up our walls. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.